Hey guys, welcome back to the Watch With Us channel. The other day, our contributor, our buddy, our partner, Anthony Kozlowski, came up with a great idea of doing a video on what we would do individually with our $1,200 stimulus check if we were to spend it on a watch. Now we know there are a ton of people out there having a difficult time with what's going on, a lot of job losses, so this is really just in jest. Just something to entertain and educate of uh, what we would do if we were indeed to spend that money on a watch. So we asked our contributors, shoot a short video of what you would do with the stimulus check if you were to buy a watch with it. So let's have a little bit of fun. Let's look at what the Watch With Us contributors would do in these fun videos. Check them out, guys. What's up guys, Brad, the budding watch enthusiast here. And with my stimulus check, if I was buying a watch, I would definitely be going over to the Christopher Ward website and getting one of their Trident dive watches. Just so many options, so many choices in that line. If you want something sportier, you got the C60 models. If you want something a little bit more everyday wear, you have these C65 models like this C65 Pepsi GMT that I'm wearing right here. But for a thousand bucks, uh, right around a thousand dollars, you cannot go wrong shopping Christopher Ward. So that would be my pick if you were gonna buy a watch with your stimulus check. What watch I would buy with a $1,200 stimulus check? Right off the top of my head, I started thinking micro brands or maybe even Seiko, but scratch all that, I would go vintage. And when it comes to vintage watches, there are amazing vintage chronographs out there under the $1,500 mark. Right off the top of my head, I started thinking about my own Breitling Top Time. It's gold plated, a bit smaller at 34 millimeters, but can be found for around $1,200. Or you can even go Lackman. They make so many amazing vintage pieces all the way up into the 70s. Fantastic buys. That would be my choice. Hi, this is Sierra from Watches with a Woman. And if I was to spend my $1,200 stimulus check on a watch, I'd probably go with something fun and modern, uh, maybe a micro brand. I grew up in London, England, and there's a micro brand, a British micro brand called Christopher Ward with a really fun GMT world timer, which is kind of a funky design. I love the GMT complication. The world timer is just a bonus. So that'd probably be my choice. Hey, watch fam, this is Spanish Rob. And the watch I would purchase if I were going to use a $1,200 stimulus check um, on a watch, would be a brand that I discovered at Warren & Wild's Wind Up. It's called Formax, and they're an actual independent micro brand from Switzerland, and they produce such a high quality value product. Um, something that I picked up uh, not too long ago, it's the Formax Essence. Now they make this in a few different variations, in different materials and dial colors, and this is the stainless steel with a blue dial on a stainless steel strap uh, bracelet. It actually is interchangeable, comes off with a quick release right off and you can put straps on that it comes with. Um, why it's such a great value is the fact that it has a Salina Swiss chronometer certified. And it's, you're gonna be very hard pressed to find a chronometer certified Swiss movement in the $1,200 price point. Not only that, they actually came up with a patented case suspension system, I know, saying it out loud really fast, that actually has four springs that um, move independently from the lugs for shock absorbency. So that's the kind of thing you would see in something that in theory would be about five times the price of a higher end brand were to make something of that kind of ingenuity and that quality. So for that price point, you can't get more watch than this. And that's my pick. Hi, this is Mike from Watch With Us. So what watch would I buy with a $1,200 stimulus check? Well, I have three different options for you and they're in three different categories. The first would be if you wanna go whole hog and spend all that money you can go the way of Alsta, or Oris, Rado, Mido, uh, Mula Glashuta, uh, Junghans. And if you sh can stretch that budget a little bit more, maybe Nomos. Second category would be more along the micro brand category. So that would be $500 to $850. This is if you didn't want to spend the whole check, maybe you have some bills to pay or you just want to save some of that money and don't want to invest it all in a watch. So that I have recommendations, NTH, Laurier, Boulder, Stratton, and MK2. In addition, the last category is vintage. Vintage, I have a recommendation of Omega, Tudor, Belova, and Longines. There's a lot of great deals out there in the vintage market. You just have to be very, very careful and Follow your budget. So that's it. Those are my recommendations. Stay safe and stay healthy. Hey guys, it's Ivan here. 
I'm supposed to be telling you what watch I would buy if I could use the whole $1,200 stimulus check just on a watch. Um, I would have to probably go with one of the uh, Oris Aquas. Um, I really like what Oris does. A uh, huge fan because they pack a lot of quality into their timepieces. And if you shop around, you can get a really, really good watch for, for right in that price range. So mine will go to Oris. Hey guys, it's Ricardo. And question is, what would I get with my $1,200 stimulus check? Well, I'm thinking two things. If I had a couple hundred dollars saved already, I'm going for a Tudor 1926. 39 millimeters. I got options in terms of dials. Uh, bracelets considered probably one of the better bracelets in that price range. 28, 24 inside, tried and tested. I mean, great brand name behind it. Uh, it's just a great option, 100 meters of water resistance. If I didn't have any money saved and I'm basically saying, okay, I'm using the whole 1200, I'm targeting the Ball Fireman Enterprise, one of the most underrated go-anywhere, do-anything watches out there. You have an option of getting it in either a black dial or a white dial. You have your tritium lube. It could dress down. It could dress up. 40 millimeters, 20 millimeter lug grits. Uh, you have great anti-shock resistant up to 5,000 Gs, anti-magnetic. I mean, these, this watch is basically a workhorse, and it, it doesn't get the the amount of attention it should. But um, guys, really check that watch out. And those are my two options. It's easy. I just They're great go-anywhere versatile watches, and that's the first thing I'm looking for when I'm buying a watch. What's up, watch fam? GCR here, long time no uh, see on the Watch With Us channel, but happy to be back, uh, you know, doing a little quick video on what I would buy with the $1,200 stimulus check. So right now I'm really into, I've always been into, but I have a real kick for Oris lately. Um, I think the brand is awesome. They do a spectacular job. The whole crew over there, VJ and, uh, and many others. Uh, so to get to the point, I already have an Oris pointer date, but uh, like I said, I'm really fond of many of the uh, Oris watches currently in their lineup, and I would probably go for an Oris 65. Not exactly sure which dial color I would go for, but I think that, um, yeah, I think that I definitely would go for an Oris 65. At first I thought I'd go for an Aquis, but I have so many um, watches that resemble that type of uh, diver look that I do prefer the more subtle appearance of an Aura 65 in that diver genre. So that's what I would do. I'm hoping everybody is healthy and safe. Hi guys, my name is John Keel, and uh, I found this to be fun. When Anthony uh, posed the question to the group, what would we buy with a $1,200 stimulus check? At first I thought, this is gonna be tough. Naturally, I don't wanna be too biased because I work in the micro brand space and uh, I sell micro brands, but, after about a minute of thought, it was an instant uh, aha moment. I would, without a doubt, buy a Formex Essence. When this watch first popped up on my radar, it was about six months before the watch was actually even released. I had seen a prototype at the Worn and Wound show. I got to meet Marcus and Raphael from Formex, amazing guys. And on that day, I fell in love with this watch. And I have to be very honest with you, that suspension system that is in that case, I actually thought was very gimmicky until I put it on my wrist. And uh, when you move your wrist up and down, that suspension system actually makes the watch very, very comfortable. So if I were to be spending my $1,200 stimulus check on a wristwatch, hands down, it'd be the Formex Essence. Hey guys, Ariel Javier with Watch Wobby and of course Watch With Us channel which is where you're currently viewing me on. So myself and the guys, actually the other guys, came up with a really great idea on what we would spend our stimulus check on as it relates to a watch. So first of all, I want you guys to understand this is in complete jest because we understand that there's a lot of people during this pandemic that are having to invest that $1,200 in food and other things. So we are by far not making fun of anyone. This was just trying to relate to you guys, our watch aficionados, 
in a funny way and hopefully it brings a smile to your face. And for those that have been affected by COVID-19, guys, I say God bless you guys. To all our first responders, our nurses, our doctors, truckers, police officers, EMS, uh, store clerks, thank you so much. You guys are true heroes. So the question that has been posed is what would I spend my $1,200 stimulus on? So myself, I've owned just about every watch that you can have between $200 and about $10,000. And to be honest with you, I don't find that there's a lot of great watches in that $1,200 range. So instead of picking just one watch, I'm going to say that you can spend the $1,200 on a down payment for a nicer watch. It doesn't have to be new. And in fact, I have a watch here that you guys are going to want to see. So this is kind of a $1,200 stimulus uh, check video. Uh, and it's also an unboxing. So I have been wanting and I've been collecting for about 10 years. I'm, uh, you know, I'm on Watch You Seek. I, I own Watch Wabi. I, I did a lot of other groups. And I have always wanted a Breitling emergency. Now, I've owned a lot of Breitlings. I've had the Super Oceans. I've had the, uh, the, the Avengers. I even had a, an Evo just recently, which is a lot like the watch that I'm about to unveil. So I wanted that emergency so bad. And I found a guy on eBay who completely legit, we sat there and talked for a while. And he had a mint condition Breitling emergency, the older kind, not the new one, because the new one's like 10 grand even, even nowadays. I think they're 16 grand if you go to Breitling. But this is an older emergency in mint condition. So you guys are actually gonna do the unboxing with me. I literally just got it. I haven't even opened up. There's an envelope that comes with it. I imagine by the feel there's an emer there's a warranty card in here. It comes with a three-year warranty from this guy. Uh, really nice guy, we, we hit it off pretty well. But we're gonna do this unboxing here. And again, this is what I suggest um, that some of you guys, if you have the means, spend the $1,200 on. Again, that's not a single watch. That's put it down towards something that you've really been wanting, somewhere in the $3,000 range, 1,200 bucks. Hey, you're almost halfway. So let's look at this Breitling. This guy had it packaged real well. Box that I have already opened, of course. Um, the warranty card should be in there. Comes in a nice Breitling box, so let's take a look. I wish I would have got the, the, the full set, and I can buy that full set from eBay, but um, uh, this particular watch did not come with the tester in the, in the books and all that type of stuff, which I'm okay with, so. Wow, there it is. A really nice Breitling emergency. It's... I haven't taken it out yet, but it looks as described, completely mint, which you guys um, can attest. A lot of these ones, uh, these watches have been beat to, to crap. Um, yeah, it looks minty, really nice watch. This one comes with the that Pro 3 bracelet. Man, just a really, really nice watch. And I can't wait to get it on my wrist. So I'm not gonna delay this video again. This is so you guys could hopefully uh, have a little fun, maybe invoke a little thought on what you would spend your $1,200 stimulus on if you could. Again, to all our heroes, thank you so much. To those that, 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 that are having a hard time, we're with you and if we can reach, if excuse me, if we can help you out in any way, shape or form, reach out to myself or anybody on Watch Wabi or anybody on Watch With Us channel and we'll certainly do our best to help you out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you uh, will find a watch that interests you in that $1,200 range, um, but if not, Put down a nice down payment and treat yourself to something nice, especially when this COVID-19 breaks. Thank you so much, guys, and God bless. So that was a lot of fun. You guys got to see what watches the crew would buy if they were spending the $1,200 stimulus check on a watch. And we as a group just want to say thank you so much for the first responders, the doctors, the nurses, the delivery drivers, the truck drivers, the people working in the grocery stores and the gas stations, and all of you guys who are out there working on the front lines, putting yourself at risk to make sure that society runs as normal as possible. We hope everybody is happy and healthy and safe. And thank you so much for watching the video. As always, if you liked it, hit that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe to the Watch With Us channel. If you do not already, tell all your friends and family about us and we will get back to you very soon with another video. Thank you guys. Take care, we'll see you soon.